Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew coming to you from beautiful Costa Rica. Today's topic is going to be, be good to yourself. Think about that for a minute. Guys, if you like the content, please subscribe. So be good to yourself. What does this mean? It means many times people won't be good to you, so you're gonna need to be good to yourself. Having said that, if you were and or are in a narcissistic relationship, perhaps you're looking to get out of one, you need to be good to yourself. There's gonna be times and moments and days that perhaps don't go according to plan. Maybe you hit some more turbulence, you hit some more bumps in the road, and you have a setback, or perhaps things don't go the way you want them to go on a particular day. Remember, the healing path is not linear. Neither is fighting through a divorce with a narcissist, nor is anything with a narcissist. None of that's linear. It's always topsy-turvy. It's always one step forward, two steps back until you get the education and the wisdom on channels like mine and many others. And again, thank you very much for being here. And that's when you understand that you're gonna start taking two steps forward. And perhaps, yes, you will take a step back here and there. Maybe you're gonna have a couple days in a row that doesn't quite go your way, that's fine. The point is, if you're on the healing path and you are invested in yourself, you need to be good to yourself. Now, being good to yourself, huh, what it means is simply take time and take stock and pause and think about the things that you do have. Think about the life experiences that you have gone through. Think about all of the trials and tribulations and all the things you've overcome to get to this point in time with me right here, right now. You've come so far, no matter if you are 20 or if you're 99, it doesn't matter how old or young you are. What matters is there are moments in time when you need to take, you need to take pause and stop and reflect upon your life, not the narcissist, not the toxicity of the workplace, not what people are saying about you, which are the flying monkeys, not all the nastiness that the narcissist did to you during the relationship. I'm not downplaying any of that. It's real, it happened, it's part of your history. You can't change the past. You don't, I don't want you to live in the future. I want you to live in the present moment. And this video is about being good to yourself. So maybe as an example, go for that walk, read a book, take a class, teach a class, do what you want to do, but understand you are here with us on this planet and you are abundant and beautiful. And yes, perhaps the relationship ended recently and you're not feeling that strong. I get it. I understand completely. My heart goes out to you. But you need to understand that all of the energy that went into the narcissistic relationship, and believe me, it was a lot, that got you to this point in time. And you are on the healing path now. You are slowly understanding what narcissism is. And my hope is you're getting education by watching videos, perhaps seeing the therapist, by reading, by journaling, by speaking and dropping comments in the community section, by getting the wisdom from other individuals. This is what you need to do. But there will be times you're gonna have to take a pause and reset and understand that, yeah, I need to be good to myself. I need to get that lobster dinner tonight, or I need to go for a walk, or I need to meditate, or I need to take a couple day vacation and just reset and get out of my environment. Remember, what we want you doing, what I want you doing is carving new neural pathways in your brain when you can, which means not living in the everyday fog certainly not existing in the narcissistic fog, but understand it, that if you have resources, meaning if you have your time, your money, your energy, your health, financial resources, if you have friends or not, that means you are better off than a lot of people on this planet. You need to capitalize on your resources. Example, when you were with the narcissist, what did they do? They took away all of your resources. You just didn't know it until the relationship ended or it's ending. But now that you, if you still have resources, you need to really understand that you're fortunate. And again, I'm not downplaying any, any of the narcissistic relationship. I'm not trying to trigger anybody. I'm letting you know that if you're here watching the video and you've made it this far, God bless you, that's beautiful. And you need to understand that being good to yourself is something that the narcissist didn't do, did they? No, they were too busy trying to tear you down. They were trying to keep little groups or groupies of sex of people, S-E-C-T-S that is, people behind your back. They were instilling a smear campaign. They were isolating you from your family, your friends, perhaps your workplace, perhaps your city, country, town. They were doing all this insidiously trying to tear you down. And why you need to be good to yourself now is because perhaps you're out of the relationship or you're getting out or you've been out for years. Take, un understand what I'm mentioning to you. It's very important. There are, you can't go, when you were in the relationship and you were walking around in eggshells for years, 
did you have time for yourself? No, you didn't. And after the relationship ended, or my hope is it's ending now, if it hasn't already, you need to decompress. You need to slow down and get your health back to as strong as it possibly can be and get your resources back where they belong. And one way to do this is to understand that you can't be going on full speed all the time. You need to slow down sometimes. That's why people take vacations. Now, what's a vacation meant to be? A vacation is meant to be a period of time where you are not in the same environment where you are usually, meaning your city, your town, your country, and you're in another environment experiencing a different culture or experiencing a, a different whole city or town. That's a vacation, and a vacation is meant to be what? It's meant to be relaxing. It's meant to be when you unplug and you just get off the grid and you just live your best life for a period of time. That is what I suggest you do when you go on vacation, if you do. But along the way and or until you get on vacation, you need to be good to yourself. Take a mini vacation, have a spa day, relax. Like I keep telling you, do something physical, pick up a new hobby, do something, but be good to yourself. Treat yourself to that nice dinner that you want or connect with a long lost friend. Do anything that benefits you. Remember again, I mentioned the channel frequently, the narcissist wanted to take, 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 and when they were done, they wanted to take more. Their whole purpose was to manipulate you and to extract your resources. What was your job? To keep working for the narcissist because you didn't know what was going on. You didn't know anything about narcissism back then. And you were supposed to keep the relationship together, keep working for them, keeping the, the person that pays the bills, that cleans the house, the, the pays for the vacations, etc. But that's all gone now, or at least my hope is it's ending and or has ended. And this is when you need to be good to yourself. Do things that, in, that you enjoy. Maybe write a list of things that you liked to do before you met the narcissist and you could resume doing these or begin doing these or write a list of things that you wanted to do when you were with the narcissist that you never could because they would always berate you or tell you that, why are you doing that? It doesn't make sense. You're wasting your time. You'll never be any good. Like, it's so embarrassing. Why do you, things like that. But this is when you get your power back and now you need to be good to yourself because if you don't, who else is gonna be good to you? You get my point? You see. Your self-worth, your self-value, and your self-awareness are instrumental parts of you healing on the healing path. Because many times people, <coughs> excuse me, when they were in the relationship with the narcissist, they weren't told, I love you. They weren't told, I care about you. They weren't listened to. They were just a sounding board, a punching bag, someone to abuse. They weren't heard, in other words. They were invalidated. They were put on the shelf. They were treated like a not good individual, let's put it that way, because that's what the narcissist does. Remember, the narcissist wants you in the fog. They want you working for them. They want you unsuspecting. They want you controlled. They want to be able to manipulate you. They want to take from you. They don't want you to be good to yourself. That is why you need to be good to yourself, because if not, now when? So example, if you've been putting off a vacation or been putting off traveling to a new town or starting a business or a hobby or doing something that you enjoy, really consider the pros and cons of you putting it off longer. Like, why would you put it off? If you have the time and the resources, you should be taking action now. It's exactly what you should be doing. Bettering yourself, enhancing the lives of loved and trusted ones around you, maybe even the world, who knows? But there is no time like the present moment to take action, specifically if you've healed from the narcissistic abusive cycle and specifically if you have resources. So take a look around your life. See how much abundance you have. See how much beauty you have. See how much you actually do have and bring to the table and share it with others. Remember, the narcissist wanted you isolated. They wanted you kept all for themselves so they could abuse you behind closed doors and at the same time make them look good to the general public. Perhaps arm candy, perhaps a resource, whatever it was, that's what the narcissist wanted. That's why the narcissist is like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. But now that you're free from the relationship and or you, or you are getting free, Invest your time wisely. Don't let another minute go by without taking action, without doing something that benefits you. Do something positive and be good to yourself. Being good to yourself could be as simple as playing a song that you haven't heard on the, on the radio or whatever, however you listen to music these days. Maybe it's a, a, a song from, from childhood. Maybe it's a song that, you, you, that has great memories for you. Play the music, dance, get up, go to new locations. Do whatever you do that is healthy and safe for you, but be good to yourself. Because keep in mind, the narcissist wanted you smothered. They wanted your beautiful, bright glow for themselves so no one else could experience it or enjoy it. And yes, that's exactly what happened. Keep in mind, the narcissist 
they didn't want anything good for you. They just wanted to steal your beautiful energy. And they did for a period of time, which was the length of the relationship. Now that it's over, or well, my hope is it's ending, get out there, do new things, create new, new hobbies, make new friends, maybe find love again, travel. Like I said, read a book, write a book, teach, teach a class, take a class, whatever you wanna do, but be good to yourself, you deserve it. You deserve so much abundance and beauty. The things the narcissist could not, would not, and never will provide for you, you can provide these for yourselves now. That's exactly what you should be doing. So guys, this is an inspirational video. It's a, it's a, it's a video of hope. It's a message of abundance, of growth, of being good to yourself. Do it, if not now, when? You really need to take this message to heart because in this day and age, many people want to tear you down. They, want, they don't want your best interest at heart. They don't have your best interest at heart. That's why you need to take action and drown out the noise, drown out the everyday fog, certainly remove yourself from the narcissist if you haven't already, focus on yourself, become the best version of yourself possible each and every day, and understand that you are not alone. You're not. There are literally billions of us, billions with a B, yes. Why I say that is because there are eight billion people on the planet, and I'm certain at least 25% of experienced narcissistic abuse, probably more than that, they just don't have the wisdom and or the education or the ways to understand what narcissism is. It's how it is, it's unfortunate, but that's it. But you're one of the fortunate ones because you're on my channel and many others, and you're getting the wisdom, you're sharing your experience, and you're understanding you are not alone, and that you can improve your life so much so once you take your power back and you move forward and you identify that you don't want, you want nothing to do with toxic people any longer. So guys, that's the video, I hope you liked it. I loved doing it from beautiful Costa Rica. This is Andrew, namaste. Have a great evening, stay true, stay blessed, continue to become awakened and aware and understand no matter where you are on the planet, you are not alone. I love you, God bless you, have a great evening. And listen, I'm very adamant about this, be good to yourself. Don't be putting pressure on yourself, don't be giving yourself a hard, hard time, give yourself a break, you deserve it. Understand you're a human being. Healing, the healing path is not linear. You have some good days, some not so good days, but eventually you are headed, you, are, you will get through this because we are all headed in the same direction on the same path, just taking different footsteps. Again, you are not alone. God bless you, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, be good to yourself. I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye.